Recorded live at IPW in Orlando, Florida, this is Brand USA Talks Travel. At IPW, travel executives from over 70 countries have come to reunite and rebuild the global travel industry. We brought this podcast to IPW so you can catch up with the trending topics. Here's your host, Mark Lapidus. Tell me about the bar. The bar. The bar is called Keesling. It is located in a formerly forgotten corner of Detroit called Milwaukee Junction. And it was abandoned for about 30 years before we restored it, reopened it. And now it's a pretty popular neighborhood bar that is the living room of the city. That's an amazing thing for a side gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we had a side gig to the side gig, and we added an espresso bar right around the corner. I'm speaking with Ashley Davidson, founder of Citizen Brand and Content Lab. She's an award-winning creative director and filmmaker who's worked across branded content and documentary. She's also a world traveler and a former urban designer whose fascination with communities of all kinds is near obsessive. Just the way this is written is obsessive. <laughs> Tell me about that obsession. Well, I started my career in urban design and worked in community redevelopment, economic redevelopment, post-hurricane recovery work, where essentially you go out into a neighborhood that's been damaged by natural disaster, economic troubles, get to know the community, understand their story, what makes them proud, what is fascinating about them, and redesign to reflect that story and help them rebuild. So how did you become a content creator from that? Great question question. It was really learning about those stories that lit me up and talking to people, listening to them and creating something that reflected back the magic that I saw in them and in their communities. And to me, that's really the nexus of storytelling and design itself. Design should tell a story and reflect that magic back, just like a story you produce on film or in a photo essay. It all should speak to that, the heart of the community. I know you because we've worked on a lot of things together, the two main projects being Ask Local and Spirit Song, which are both lovely, lovely television programs for us on Go USA TV. How do you come up with the ideas? Each project is different, but I will say that the common element is to really try to understand the essence, the why. When you start with the core of why a place is special, why a story is special, you get to something very authentic. So that is always my starting point. And with Ask a Local, the approach was let's create a piece of branded content that can be episodic, a series that destinations can participate in, but that really gets to the core of why each place is special through the eyes of the locals. And with Spirit Song, the why is really what is the sound of a place and the feeling of a place that is reflected in indigenous art and music. We went to several sacred sites for Native American communities across the country. We just listened to what they had to say about what was special about their environment and how that was reflected in their art and why these places are sacred, what makes them identifiable as such, and we crafted that into the film. So I encourage our listeners to check out both these shows on Go USA TV. And folks may not even be aware of the fact that Ask a Local was done for every state and the District of Columbia and all of our territories. So we actually have 56 of them that are on the channel. Ashley did, I think, the first eight. 16. 16? Was it that many? Holy moly. It's been a little while since we made them, but they really hold up well. So I encourage everybody to go watch them. So let's talk about destination content in general. What do you find are the challenges and the opportunities? Great question. I think the key challenges, and this is true of any storytelling, anytime we talk about ourselves, there are certain talking points that we think other people need to know. When other people look at us, there are certain things they see in us that we might not recognize or we may not think that that's our big talking point. For destinations, I think that is particularly poignant. Travelers don't tend to be compelled to go to a destination because of an infrastructure investment or because of the number of jobs that are created based on tourism. There's a certain something about a community, that essence of the community. That's why people travel. And what I often say to DMOs is that it's always about visiting. It's not about living there. Totally. It's very easy to look around and say, well, we don't have this and we aren't that city. We don't have this statue or this bridge or this skyline. But to turn the tables and say, but what do we have? It's really special. It's often rooted in the people and the special things that they are creating. 
And that's the challenge and the opportunity, right? Because exactly. I do find that every town, almost regardless of size, has a brewery, has a coffee shop, has a record store. So look for remarkable artists. Look for things that are different. Exactly. How did design and content go together to create a storytelling strategy? For me and for what we're trying to achieve at Citizen, whether it's in visual design or through narrative, through film, it's really about bringing together the key elements that convey the symbolic value of a place, of a person. In other words, don't just tell me, show me, right? If you tell me something like, okay, I kind of get it, but to really have that authenticity and to really drive the story of what you're trying to say, I need it to be a multi-sensory experience. So show me, don't just tell me. That's always more believable and has more of an emotional and human quality to it. It's also more memorable. Ashley, what is your process in deciding what to bring forward in the stories you create and the designs you make? Everything that we do is about community, which is part of why we're called Citizen. It's really about bringing people together, whether that's in a physical environment or through story, maybe showing people we have more in common than we thought. To do that, to get to these kind of core values that bring people together, we try to get to the why, the motivations behind spaces or stories. When we're asked to design something or to tell a story, it's kind of like, okay, what is the motivating factor in this? How do we demonstrate what those underlying values are that might connect the subject with the audience in a more profound way. So you start with why, then you talk about how, and then you get into the what. That's really how I approach it. And I often think about the core of what we're trying to do as the intersection of a Venn diagram. If it's branded content or design, there's the question that the client is asking or the point that the client wants to make. And then there's the thing that the audience is interested in. And where the two overlap is our sweet spot. And that's where we dig in. With that in mind, tell us how the process came to life for Brand USA's new booth, which we're sitting in. And by the way, it looks fabulous. Well, thank you, first of all. It started with a great brief. Brand USA came to us and said, we have all of these amazing initiatives that we're doing and some are on the consumer side, some are on the trade side. And our whole intention is to foster relationships that bring more people into the United States. People don't know that we're doing all of these things as Brand USA because the look and the feel is very different. So what we did was really dig in to understand what are each of these initiatives, the different visual identities that they all had kind of made them seem like maybe they didn't come from the same parent. And we thought, okay, what are the core consistencies that link them all together? What is the story behind each of them? Who's the audience for each of them? And then we created a kind of unifying look, an umbrella look and feel that tells the story of what Brand USA is providing on both the trade and consumer side largely through content, like what you're doing right now with the podcast, also with Go USA TV, and then through those relationships and the toolkits for trade partnerships. There's a lot about creating space for relationships to be nurtured and also for demonstrating all of these many, many tools and initiatives under the Brand USA umbrella that are actually deeply linked in their intention. And now they're also deeply linked in their visual identity. So how do people get in touch with you, Ashley, if they want to explore creating storytelling content? People can find us online at thisiscitizen.com, through our Instagram at thisiscitizen.com, and through email, just directly email me at ashley at thisiscitizen.com. Ashley, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. Enjoy the rest of IPW. Thanks, you too. If you enjoyed this live from IPW Podcast, please leave us a review and subscribe to Brand USA Talks Travel. We have so many industry leaders to speak with here at IPW that we'll be pushing out many consecutive episodes with new guests. We hope you'll binge listen when you have time. I'm Mark Lapidus. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to ask a question or make a comment, email us at podcast at thebrandusa.com or call 202-793-6256. Our producer is Asher Mirovich, who also writes and performs all music and sound. Engineering by Brian Watkins. Be sure and let your friends in the travel industry know about this podcast.